You think you already did? You already make your point? Is that what it was? Listen, this is a business. It's a business. It's not the Tyson Fury show. Everybody saying, "Oh, Tyson Fury, this Tyson Fury." If Tyson Fury was a big star, he never sold out any of the fight with Deontay Wilder. You know that. That's a fact. The fight was never sold out. So this is not the Tyson Fury show. This show sold out because me and Tyson Fury. It's not just a Tyson. Tyson Fury, he fought Wilder. Wilder is the biggest superstar than me. None of the fights was ever sold out. So let's be honest about it. It's not just the Tyson Fury show. It's the Tyson Fury and Dylan White show. Obviously, at the end of the day, so it needs to be two. We're both in the, in the fight together, so some things need to be done correctly. You know, it's not just oh, you. I don't dance to no one's tune. You know, I, I, I'm a warrior. I'm a survivor. So I don't dance to no one's tune. We can dance together, but it can't be one way traffic. So there's things that need sorting out, things that need arranging and 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 getting done. So that's it. Obviously, I'm a disciplined guy. I've learned to be disciplined over the years and and be disciplined. So. Okay, you want me to work, you want me to do things, cool. I'm up for that, I'm a professional. I've had six, seven pay-per-view shows and I've worked hard on all of them. And I've always looked up on my opponents and dealt with them correctly. So when these guys are trying to mug me off and trying to treat me like it's just a thousand viewer show, we got to, they got to get certain things correct. So once the things get got corrected or we're close to getting them corrected, then I'm a professional at the end of the day. So now I'm, here I am. I'm, I'm here and I'm ready and my training is done and I'm in good shape and ready to go. Mm. Those are the words of Dillian, the body snatcher white. As he claims, this is not just a Tyson Fury show. This is the Tyson Fury and Dillian White show or the Dillian White show, Tyson Fury. They're trying to mug me off like I'm some scrub and this, that and the other. I am the reason why partially why this has sold out. OK, let me counterpunch. Um. It puts me in the mind of Floyd um, Money Mayweather because Floyd used to do this a lot, you know, and I see Tyson Fury and Tyson Fury does a lot of things. He, a lot of people compare him to Muhammad Ali, but in fact, Tyson Fury does a lot of things like Floyd Mayweather, you know, the mentality of Mayweather. Hey, like, you know, I'm not thinking about nothing else but this fighter. Don't talk about any other fighter. Don't do this. Don't do that. The Mayweather defense, right? He claimed he had in the first fight with Deontay Wilder, right? And he, for the most part, he did. And Floyd's thing was, hey, it's all about me. I'm the star attraction. I'm the reason why this fight is where in, where it's at, why it's sold out. And that's not the truth. Um, it reminds me of when Floyd had a heated interview with Brian Kenny. Okay. And that was hilarious because Brian Kenny was like, well, you proclaim, you proclaim you are the only one in that fight. You fought Oscar De La Hoya. That's why you broke records. You know, not just because you fought, fought some Joe Blow that nobody know. Right. And this is how Tyson Fury uh, approached Dillian White. Because as you can remember, Tyson Fury looked at Dillian White as a tune-up fight. That's how he viewed him. He said, yeah, I'll, I'll tune up with Dillian White. Dillian White is my tune-up fight, right? And now we know he's more than a tune-up. But the on the business side of things, Dillian White has a point to this degree. What has Tyson Fury done in the UK to equate him selling out anything by himself? Counterpunch. So in theory, he's right because you can't take and extract the influence of Dillian White. Dillian White is the guy that sold out O2, smaller arenas, mind you, but he is the UK fighter. Understand, Tyson Fury is a British fighter, but Tyson Fury is coming in with an American boxing license. He's coming in from the adopted son uh, of America. Okay, he went to Germany first, then he came over here to America and caught the cap capulating minds of, of many over here in the US of A when he got off that canvas in the 12th round against Deontay, the bronze bomber, the one punch knock out artist, Wilder, right? And he made his legacy off of Wilder. It's like the second coming of the second part of somebody's career. And that's what Tyson Fury done, but he done it over here. Bars. <laughs> so that's what we're looking at. Um, we're looking at a guy. Now you can't, now here's the thing. You gotta be fair. 
you can't say that Tyson Fury didn't get any accolades or any kind of uh, recognition in the UK. You can't say that because what he did over here uh, reflected what he did over there. But I don't think it was all about him. See, if it was an Otto Vilene kind of guy, before Otto Vilene was Otto Vilene, and he's still Otto Vilene because he's never really done anything but beat Dominic Brazil, which Dominic Brazil has been beaten twice already before he even got there. So, you know what I mean? So it, it, it's not one of those situations. And that's the only way we'll know if Tyson Fury beats Dillian White and he continues fighting and he fights someone that's not on the level, fights a I get Caballero, and then let's put it in Wembley and see what it does. They won't put it in Wembley because it would not sell. Okay, so that's the thing. So Dillian White needs recogn recognition, just like Tyson Fury. You know, but understand, I think both of these fighters combined made a sold out crowd the way it is because it's such a unique fight. Uh, it's Dillian White's retribution for the injustice that he's had with the WBC and all their crap, right? And... These guys have history, sparring sessions, sparring wars. So, yeah, a lot of that had a lot to do with, my, you know, Frank Warren coming in with that $42 million purse bid, you know, rocking the boxing scene to its core with a record-breaking purse bid like that. So, look, it's a lot of things involved in this fight. You know, Tyson Fury still need, I mean, sorry, Dillian White is still needing things that he wants to get done that's not done. Okay, so it, it's so much going on with this fight, but that fight sold itself, though. Besides all that, okay, Dillian White didn't even show up for the fight for the uh, press conference, but that doesn't mean his influence wasn't there. People knew who he was fighting; they just knew he didn't show up for that kickoff press conference. Okay, and it sold ninety four thousand tickets. That's beating Anthony Joshua's record. We have to remember that. I think what Anthony sold 80,000. Was it 80,000 or 90,000? He I just know he beat Carl Frotch. And these two guys together has beaten Anthony Joshua. Now Anthony now Anthony Joshua stands alone because Anthony Joshua's Anthony Joshua. It didn't matter who he was fighting. <laughs> you know, Alexander Povetkin, former champion, but I mean, come on. You know, uh we didn't really know much of Alexander Povetkin. He got beat by Klitschko once upon a time, but that's it, <laughs> right? What else? Um, Vladimir Klitschko, you know? That's like saying AJ was solely responsible for selling out Wembley by himself when he fought Klitschko. No, absolutely not. You had to bring them together, and it takes two to tango, Okay. Vladimir Klitschko, Anthony Joshua, just like now, Tyson Fury and Dillian White. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Dillian White saying that, hey, this is the Tyson Fury and Dillian White show. Tell me what you think. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunching. Peace.